So on any live view camera, you can double click to bring that camera full screen. The toolbar remains on the bottom. Right click to get back out. And then you can right click to get to the main live view interface. Uh, one thing that we have done is we've made this a little more user friendly for setting up customary views. So if I wanted to, I could take camera one and I could drag that over to a different location. Uh, it's very much like the ACMS or the web browser capabilities that we have. Um, the unique thing from this view from the previous firmware is this actually stores in the onboard system memory. So if this system does reboot and I've created a custom grid as it boots back up, this visual uh, doesn't actually revert back to having camera one back in the camera one location. Uh, be caution, uh, cautionary when you do this. The reason for that is these camera locations are purely for the live viewing screen. So when you do enter the playback menu, camera one is still going to be camera one. So if you're used to seeing it in a different location, just remember that you may not be looking at the same camera in the tree uh, when you get to the playback menu. From this live view, you can do a lot of things. We can take snapshots. We can do an instant replay. Uh, PPZ controls are available. Digital zoom, audio on or off to listen to it. You can actually change the strategy, so if you are uh, more concerned with seeing video in real time, we'll actually possibly lower the quality a little bit on the live stream so that you can see the video more fluid, uh, fluently. Um, or you can uh, look at it in a balance for quality versus fluidity of movement, uh, as well as record video on the fly. So you can stop and start recording at, at will. Uh, there's a global setting down in the bottom for that as well, and what that is is that is a, uh, an emergency record button. So if for some reason you are watching this and uh, you've got the recorder set up say, on an event basis, but you see uh, a crime taking place. You can override your event to make sure all cameras are recording right then and there, so you're not losing any evidence by someone potentially not triggering uh, one of those event triggers that you have set up. Um, up on the top left, you'll also see an alarm and exception menu. This is new. Uh, so as you come in here, you can look at exceptions based upon hints that may be done for uh, optimal optimization for hard drives, network disconnections, IP conflicts, basic events such as motion detection, video tampering, um, or even smart events that we use when we talk about our analytics. Uh, the benefit for that is you can see this in real time. If an event does take place, it'll pop up in the list. Then you can actually play back video that was recorded directly from this menu, so you can get to that criteria and evidence right then and there without having to go through the entire playback menu to find that relevant piece of video. The other option here is uh, to uh, double click on cameras. So if I wanted to choose a camera location, you can clearly highlight that field, double click that, and that'll actually move the camera over. But again, it's just as easy as dragging and dropping and even dragging the camera name wherever you want it to go.